In this problem, we're told a 12 kilogram hammer strikes a nail at a velocity of 8.5 meters per second and comes to rest in a time interval of 8 meters per second. A, what is the impulse given to the nail? And B, what is the average force acting on the nail? So in order to solve this problem, let's first write down what we're given. So what are we told? So we know the mass of our hammer, right? So the mass of our hammer is gonna be 12 kilograms. We know that it's gonna be striking the nail at a velocity of 8.5 meters per second. And then we know this time interval is gonna be uh, eight uh, milliseconds, right? So eight milliseconds, I'm gonna convert this into seconds, right? Because when we solve this, uh, we want everything to be in seconds. So this is essentially 0 0.008 seconds because for every 1000 milliseconds, there's one second. So essentially we just divide this by a thousand. And if you divide it, you'll get 0 0.008. So 0 0.008 seconds. So that's going to be the time. Now let's go ahead and solve for A. So A, what do we know? So we're trying to find the impulse given to the nail. And so essentially when they say impulse, they're talking about the change in momentum. So the change in momentum of the nail, you have to know, right? So the change in momentum of the nail is going to be equal to the opposite of the change in momentum, right? So the change in momentum of the hammer, right? So this is something you have to know because uh, how they're striking each other, right? Because it's the momentum is changing from one object to the other. But essentially, this is what we need to solve for. And so what we want to do is solve for the change in momentum of the nail, right? So the change, I'm just going to call it delta P from now on. So delta P, that's what we're solving for. And so how do we do this? So we know that uh, P, which is momentum, is equal to mass times velocity. But we're solving for the change in it. So essentially, if we solve for the change in momentum, it's equal to mass. And as long as the mass is constant, it's just the change in the velocity. So delta P equals M times delta V, right? So this is the formula we're going to use. And so let's go ahead and do that. So delta P equals the mass. So the mass of the hammer is 12. And then let's go ahead and do this. So the change in the velocity, which is essentially just going to be uh, the initial velocity minus the final velocity, right? That's going to be the change in the velocity. And so our initial velocity is 8, right? And then it comes to rest. So it goes from 8.5 to 0. So our initial is 8.5, final is 0. So we can just do 8.5 minus 0. Anything minus 0, though, is just that number. So 8.5. And so if you go ahead and do this, delta P is going to be equal to uh, 102 kilogram meters per second. So this is the units of momentum when we're using kilograms and meters per second. So this right here is going to be your answer to uh, A. You can put in scientific notation if you want. So just say uh, 1, right? Just round it to 100, and then it would just be uh, 100, which is about, or which is 1.00 times 10 to the 2 kilogram meters per second. So just make sure you write it however your teacher wants you to. But essentially, this is your answer to A. Let's move on to B now. So B is going to be the average force acting on the nail. So you need to know to solve this is that F average, or the average force, is going to be equal to the change in momentum over the change in time. So if you have the change in momentum, which we do right here, right? We just solve for that. And then if you divide it by the change in time, you're going to get the average force. So this right here is 102, right? That's going to be the change in momentum. So 102 kilogram meters per second. And then we divide that by the change in time, which we know it's going to be in contact, uh, or it comes to rest in this interval. So 0 0.008 seconds. And so if you go ahead and do this 102 divided by 0 0.008, you're going to get 12,750 newtons. And I'm just going to go ahead and round this to 13,000 uh, and then I'm going to write it in scientific notation. Just make sure you do what your teacher wants you to do. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1.3 times 10 to the 4 newtons. So this is right here. You can write any answer you want. Just make sure you follow what your teacher wants you to do. If they want the exact version, use this one. Or if they just want it rounded in scientific notation, it's going to be that one. But yeah, so this right here is your answer to B. Uh, this right here is your answer to A. And so yeah, hopefully you found this useful.